in the previous chapter we saw the entire timeline showing how linux originated to become the most secure operating system and also we got to know about the multiple benefits that you would be enjoying in the linux operating system rather than any other operating system available to use for the people who preferably wish to switch to linux what you are going to learn in this tutorial is arguably the most important and powerful tool of the linux operating system and this tool is called the linux terminal or the linux command line you might have noticed in various movies where a hacker like person sitting in front of a computer types random text in a big black box that big box is called the terminal or the command line of that operating system which allows the hacker to write several commands and do marvelous activities which cannot be done by a general computer user at all initially linux was all about the terminal which somewhere made linux less friendly and as a result of this it was the least preferred operating system for the users but with time we saw how linux have evolved to a great extent with lots of improvements and some kind of beautification in its graphical user interface thereby making linux a very comfortable and user friendly and this has actually brought linux back into the competition and i guess you might have used pcs on windows or mac operating system where you would have used the keyboard and mouse combination to do 99% of a task right but in linux the command line is the bread and butter for every major thing once you finish this tutorial and this entire course it will be the command line of which you will be very fond of using and you are going to use it for almost all the activities that you can do in the linux operating system rather than using the cursor across the screen so knowing how to use the terminal will give you a much better understanding about your linux operating system and you will get to know how your system works so not trying to go very far in this tutorial i will tell you how you can open and close the linux terminal and by the end of this tutorial you will be knowing how to open and close the linux terminal using the graphical user interface as well as i will also be telling you how to use a few shortcuts in your pc to open and close the terminal and do multiple activities so let's jump right into the command line terminal and see the most interesting part of this tutorial i must tell you that since a very long time i have been using kali linux on my pc as my operating system so i will be telling you and giving you description using this operating system itself but don't worry i understand that you might be having a separate operating system like ubuntu or debian or some other but have my word that the command which i will be telling you to write on the command line terminal will not give any different result on your system because almost all the linux distributions are have similar working commands so now let's start on the extreme left bottom you will be able to see there are nine dots which reads show applications so when you click on this you will be able to see various applications which are installed on your system so you can use this scroll button to go up and down and browse through these applications or on the extreme right you can see there are few radio buttons which are actually shortcuts to all the pages where the applications are classified so you can browse to the last page and in the last page you will be able to see the terminal window icon over there so you can either click over here or on the left you might be having a shortcut which reads terminal in my pc it is q terminal or you can go to the applications and in the favorite section or almost in all the linux distributions you will be having the terminal icon over there or there is one more way where you can go to the search box and you can write terminal and you will be able to see the various consoles which are available on your pc to use so let's open terminal now so guys this is the command line terminal which we will be using in almost 90% of the time in this course and we'll be using this terminal to write various commands and see the output on the screen so let's just have a walk through across this terminal window you have first of all options like files actions where you have various actions and you have the option to open a new tab and there is one preferences which you can see and under the preferences section you can see view options which are available like appearance so using this appearance section you can change the color scheme which suits uh, you most so if i change it to like uh, green on black 
and I do so you can see here that my command line terminal has changed the font to green or if you want you can change it to some dark or light theme where once you apply this the terminal is going to give you a separate kind of look. So in this tutorial I am going to use my dark theme with uh, white font. So this is totally based on the user's requirement and uh, it is all about the look and feel of the command line terminal. So this appearance section is basically meant to give a better look and feel to the command line terminal which the user is using. And this is totally based on the interest and preferences of the user. So this is not going to make any difference on the working of the command line terminal or your system. The next few options are like behavior where you can select to store history of the commands that you are typing. Just keep in mind that in the history part only the lines of codes get stored and not the output of the commands. So you can select it to 1000 lines of codes or you can increase it or decrease it or you can select to store the unlimited history. That means whatever you will be typing till the time you don't clear the history it will be saved line by line. And later in this course I will also explain you how you can use a particular command to delete or modify your history that has been stored on your computer. There are few more shortcuts available like uh, you can add a new tab to the existing tab. So you can use control plus shift plus T button and you can close a tab by using control plus shift plus W button and you can use the control plus shift plus F button to find any particular word in your terminal or you can go to a full screen mode and back to the normal mode by using F11 button. So you can go through all these at your own time and try to figure it out what all actions can be taken using these preferences section. So you have seen that how you can easily play around with your command line terminal and as we know that till now we have not used the command line to write anything. This tutorial is just made to give you an idea how the command line terminal looks like and what all you can do in addition to writing commands and seeing the output on the screen, right? So guys, I'll just give you a recap of this tutorial in a very short form. So here in the activity button, you can select it and you can browse through all the applications right to the last page where you can find the terminal or you can go to the applications and find your terminal in the favorites column or you can use the search box to type terminal and get the terminal on the screen or on the left panel in the favorites menu you can find the terminal. When you open the terminal it can be modified as per the user's choice using the preferences section in the appearance and the behavior of the terminal can be changed right. So you can play around with the default settings of the terminal and you can use the F11 button to go to full screen mode and to come out of this full screen mode you can press F11 and you will be reverted back to the normal mode right. To add any tab you have to use the combination of control plus shift plus T and see one more tab has been added. So you can add as many tab you want and if you want to close any tab you have to use the option control plus shift plus W. So you can see that the tabs have been closed and at any point of time like you want to close the terminal without using the cursor without clicking on the close button. So you can use control plus shift and the W button. So this will close the terminal. So my dear friend that was all about the Linux command line terminal that I covered in this tutorial. Now since you know how to open and close the terminal it is a good time to move ahead and start learning how to work in command line. Right. So the next chapter would be working in Linux command line where I will be telling you a few commands to use and you will be finally using the first Linux command in your Linux terminal. So I have selected a few basic commands which we will be trying in the next few tutorials and this will be making you a bit comfortable with the command line terminal and using the Linux commands. So step by step we will be moving ahead and we will be learning very new and great things in the Linux operating system and this is surely going to give you a lot of confidence after each tutorial that you will be covering. So my friend, I'll be ending this video over here and I'll be picking up with you in the next tutorial.